Well, tonight I have the story of the miracle baby, a story that begins 47 years ago when she was only six months old. Dre, you want to put this over there? It's a typical family get-together. Our sixth graders don't go. Moms, dads, aunts, uncles, children, all sitting around the dinner table. We went on a family camping trip. For Amy Walker, these gatherings are special. Every moment, a gift. Because 47 years ago, she became the miracle baby. February 27th, 1970, an Oregon highway is the scene of one of the worst traffic accidents in state history. It happened here on Highway 6, about 19 miles east of Tillamook. Two cars collided in a horrible head-on collision. Two women in the dark-colored car are killed. Five people in the white car are dead. State troopers and others rush to help, but there are no survivors. What they don't know? Deep inside the twisted metal, underneath a mountain of death, there is a little baby, very much alive. I basically was on the front seat of the car from what I was told. I was laying down. Amy is just six months old. Her little body ends up on the floor, wedged up under the front dash, out of sight from rescuers. Her aunt and uncle, newlyweds, are dead, along with their friends, another young couple. And then there is three-year-old Toby, Amy's sister. She dies as rescuers arrive. My aunt's friend was driving, and his wife were in the front, and then my aunt and uncle were in the back with Toby, my sister. And my aunt was eight and a half months pregnant. Everybody in the car had died, except for me. Was it fate, perhaps a guardian angel, almost two hours after the accident, as the deadly wreckage is about to be towed away, Someone hears a baby crying. They found me um, at the, the floor of the car, and they heard me crying, um, people at the wreckage. So they called the police back with the ambulance, and they came back to come get me. Amy is rushed to Tillamook County Hospital. A newspaper photo shows a nurse holding her, a spark of life rescued from death. I actually had a broken leg. I had two parts of my leg was broken. And then I had on my left side a concussion pretty pretty bad concussion and I, they said I was in shock for quite a while and then when my when I even saw my mom I didn't really cry I was just kind of blank faced and kind of withdrawn Amy's mother was a single mom the day of the accident she had to work she had asked her sister and brother-in-law who were on their way to Tillamook to babysit her little girls now everyone was dead except Amy. She felt like if she wouldn't have gone to work that day, this wouldn't have never happened. And so she always tells me that... <laughs> Sorry. If I didn't make it, then she wouldn't have made it. Growing up, Amy had a lot to overcome. Just slowly trying to learn how to walk and talk and everything. I was a little delayed on everything. How could a tiny baby survive something so horrific? Amy says it was God. I think that he, out of all those people, he felt that somebody needed to live. Why he chose me, I don't know. I, am, I guess it's God's grace of saying that he believed in me and that he wanted me to give back to my family. And Amy has given back. She and her husband, Rick, have been together for 21 years. They have four beautiful children. Amy's sister, Lori, was only seven at the time of the accident. She says the family has always watched over Amy. They know she's special. Our mother was incredibly protective of Amy, and so um, it just kind of, you know, permeated through every all the children. It was like, you know, you have to look after this girl and make sure that she's okay. And um, and it was hard, you know. It, it, it was it was it was hard. We will never understand what happened on that highway years ago. How a little baby was somehow saved from death. But we do know how Amy has lived the life she was given. That I treat people with love and, and, and cherish every moment in life. Anything that I do is an example for children.
and I'm just thankful that I'm here. <laughs> now, according to the accident report from that 47 years ago, they suspect that a deer was in the middle of the highway and the car Amy was in swerved and hit the other car, killing seven people. I know how long you've been working on this and when you kind of first came across the story and how you worked to get a hold of Amy, when you first called her, what did she say to well, you? Well, I was nervous because I thought maybe this was part of her life she didn't want to yeah. talk about. I w and she called me back. She said, Jeff Gianola, I've been waiting my whole life to tell my story. Tomorrow, Amy meets the family of the officer who pulled her from the wreckage. It's extremely emotional. And the officer's daughter says, how that affected her father. Listen. I'd never seen my dad like that before. He, he, he had big bags under his eyes and he couldn't sleep, he couldn't eat. He roamed the house at night. Mm -hmm. He was tormented by what he saw and what he experienced. It's a really emotional meeting. She also says for her father, finding Amy was really the spark of life that helped him cope with all the death that he saw that day. So tomorrow, we're not done. Part two of Amy's story, The Miracle Baby, tomorrow at 5 on Coin 6 News. And Amy will be joining me Friday night at 7, tomorrow night, for a live Facebook chat. And, of course, we've posted the stories on Coin.com if you'd like to take a look at The Miracle Baby. Good story. We look forward to tomorrow, Jeff. Still ahead tonight, Vice President-elect Mike Pence is leading the 